Well, John, back in yesterday, what's the mood been like around the place? It's been it's been good. I, I don't think the mood's been terrible around the place for for the past few weeks. I think it was obviously very very um, very very low when we came in after after the Stoke game. But I think the the job of, of everybody here at the football club and the staff and the players as well is to make sure that we're positive going into games and, and we don't mope and we don't feel sorry for ourselves. Um, you know, have a big dose of realism as well, but but also really really positive going into games. I think that's the only way you can win them. So the the spirit around the camp's been been pretty good considering the position we've been in and what we don't want to do is get too carried away after the win at the weekend and and just make sure that we we knuckle down, we we get on with everything that we need to get on with because it's straight on to Cardiff and uh, you know once we once that game kicks off, no one's going to care about the weekend. Any other reflections now you've had the chance to watch the game back? Uh, not really. I, I think um, the, the the game was. You know, the game was was not wasn't pretty at times. I thought we, we made it really really difficult for QPR and, and and that was by design. I think it was the right thing to do in in our situation and on a tight pitch. And I think it yeah it worked really well. So um, I thought that the the effort levels were absolutely incredible. We defended brilliantly well, and when we had the opportunity to get the ball down and play, we we did it really well in patches as well and, and created some good chances. So very very happy with the overall game. Physically, how have the lads come back in yesterday? Yeah, there's some there's some tired legs you'd expect that. I don't want players coming in on a Sunday after a Saturday game feeling feeling fresh. I think that's the um, that would that would signal that there's been a problem in the game. But everybody was uh, you know everybody was tired, but I think you know ready to ready to go again. It's just been about making sure that we physically are right for the for the weekend. There's not a huge amount we can do in terms of training for the starting lads. So recovery day yesterday be a very very light session today before we get on the road. And players coming in yesterday, I can imagine that's with the sort of three games in six days and, and making sure you're all prepared. Yeah, we felt it was important. We haven't had a huge amount of that this this season so far. I think it's only our second midweek league game and uh, it's just one of those things where we just have to make sure that we're prepared for the games as best we can and with the f- facilities that we have here now, coming in on Sunday I think was the, the right thing to do for the players and um, that gives us the best possible chance to prepare for the game and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be in again uh, we'll be in again on, on Wednesday and Thursday ready for the game on Friday and yeah, we've got a little bit of a break after that. Nothing on the grass, I imagine, yesterday, but what are you able to get into the players in terms of the analysis and any sort of recovery? Uh, that, that was all we did in terms of the coaching staff, so we, we just did the post-match analysis of the game, spent about 25 minutes on the game, making sure that we reinforce all the positives, but, but also um, you know, look at the, some of the areas that we need to improve as well. So, uh, yeah, we, we did, that, um, did that yesterday morning and then um, we took the lads out that, that hadn't been involved on the grass for a good session and everybody else was just inside recovering. What have you identified that perhaps needs brushing up on ahead of Tuesday? Oh, there's, there's loads. Uh, there's, you know, we're never going to put in a, a perfect performance, but um, I think it was, uh, I think it was really, really good in patches. I think that there's, there's definitely the opportunity for, uh, for us to, to play a lot more on a, on a bigger pitch at, um, at Cardiff, and I think our, you know, our press will be, will be very, very different as well. So I think it's, uh, it's just about adapting to, adapting to the opposition and making sure that we, we put our strengths on them as well. And to flip that question on its head, what pleased you on Saturday, and, and do you want to see taken into Tuesday? I there were some really good good bits. If you look at the the, the goal uh, that we scored, the first goal, the build up to the first goal, we actually win the second ball. We get the ball down, play it wide, and, and put QPR under pressure. And there were times that we did that really well. And I think that's um, yeah, that, that, that's definitely something we can take into the game. Is, is some of the real positive play that we had, and and just as a bare minimum, the the effort levels that uh, were required to win the game, and um, you know the running stats are right up there in terms of what we wanted to see. And we need the same again Tuesday. Cardiff, a good win for them at the weekend. What are you expecting from them? I, yeah, they're, they're a side who have got they're, they're packed with talent. Um, I think that if you, you looked at the, the I, I didn't actually have a look at this, but um, judging by what I've seen over the past few weeks, if you if you look at their side, they're, you know definite you know, sort of pre-season contenders to, to challenge in the top half, probably the top six. To be honest, if you if you look at the squad and um, what they're capable of, so. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I think they're, they're a side that have done very, very well over the, over the past few weeks, and um, yeah, I think there will be a lot of pressure on them to, to go in and win the game, considering um, yeah, considering the, the, the players they've got available. Is this a period where you could perhaps see the importance of, of having a having a deep squad? Yeah, I, the, the the three games in a week and in such a short short space of time, with without the extra day to uh, to play on the Saturday, is it's, it's, it's massively important that we. Um, you know, we, we do get everything right in terms of team selection and, and squad selection and there are going to be opportunities for us to freshen it up as well. Have you taken anything from our last three game week and, and are going to change anything going into this one? Oh, well, the performance midweek last time wasn't good enough. I didn't think it was a physical thing. Um, I, th- I thought it was much more about how we actually showed up on the night because if you if you look at the quick turnaround between Stoke, where we, we played Stoke on the Wednesday night and the early kickoff on Saturday against Oxford, Oxford had the extra day rest, didn't have as much travel of us, as us, but I thought we looked very, very fresh and um, it, yeah, it was nothing to do with physicality, I thought, at all. So, um, yeah, we, we, we do everything as, as best we can in terms of the physical preparation. 
um, and yeah, we just need to make sure that we, we produce um, a decent performance.